Well, a stormy one today in our region, and with that could come a very muggy Sunday. Let's send it over to Nicole to see how the rest of the weekend is going to shape up. Nicole. Yeah, I'm sure most of you felt and heard some of those rumbles of thunder this afternoon. There was a lot of storm activity, and we're not quite done yet. Now, we did get some hail reports upwards of a quarter, an inch and three quarters, which is equivalent to golf ball size hail. We had a few ping pong reports. Other than that, that puts us in that severe level with those rare hail reports coming in, which was interesting to see. We also had some high wind gusts across the area that caused some power outages for some of you. Now, I'm sure you don't want to hear it quite yet, but we're not done. As of this night, we had much of this first system move out of the area, but you can kind of see up there we have that second round coming through. Getting into the timing of that, here's right now, and then we're going to see that first, or excuse me, that second line of storms start to come through. Here around 2.30, it's going to enter our area, get into Ladysmith around 2.35. This will track down a little bit, kind of get a little spotty, break up a little bit, but could wake up a few of you tonight if you are a light sleeper, get some more rumbles of thunder, and if you're going out and driving the road, and pavement might be a little bit slick out there, so just be aware of that. Then we go through the day, Sunday, it's staying fairly dry for most of us. A couple people might see a few sprinkles out and about, mainly pop-up showers, nothing too much to be concerned about. I do want you to pay attention, though, this cloud cover. I have been saying it's going to be a hot one with those heat indices getting up into those upper 90s, but that cloud cover might be an impact to cool down some of us. So if those clouds stick around and stay pretty low to the ground, we could feel some of their cooling aspects, hopefully, because I'm not a huge fan of this heat. Now moving through Sunday, we're going to stay dry throughout the night, but we are going to have a few more rain chances coming as we get into Monday, but I'll have that coming up in a little bit. Now our heat indices, as I was saying, it's going to get a little hot. Again, this is mainly because we don't have that time to cool down at night. With our low tonight only sitting at 74 and across, we don't have that cool down effect happening at all. Getting into our high for tomorrow, this is the feels like, this isn't the real high, this is just our heat index. 95 in La Crosse, 93 in Arcadia, 95 in Caledonia, so much of the areas in those mid to upper 90s. And then again, not cooling off as much as we would like to see. A little bit more though as we get into Monday night, so we'll start to see that cool down. Maybe a little bit, still not nearly cool enough on Monday with those mid 90s throughout the day. Now here's our muggy forecast. As we can see, it's getting still into those oppressive to very humid feels like conditions. But look at that drop off. It's going to feel much better as we get to the turnaround in next week. Now we're not quite done yet before we get to that cool down. We do have a slight risk level two out of five for some severe thunderstorms getting into the area. We are going to issue an alert day. This is going to be for Monday. Our main concern with this event is going to be those damaging winds and that large hail, kind of similar to what we saw today. So just be aware of that. Don't have all the details on the wind, where, and timing yet, but I'll have more coming up for you guys tomorrow. Here's our eight day. After this weekend, it's going to cool down quite a bit. We just got to get through those rain chances. And then look at that. Cool, no precip. As we get through the rest of the week, once we get past that alert day on Monday, though, yeah. it's going to be a lot nicer and bearable, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, a nice calm after the storm. I'm oh, telling yeah. you, driving back, I went. I was in the Lake Pepin area, area mm -hmm. earlier today, and those storms coming through, that wind burst, and then yep. me having to drive through it, I almost had to pull over, but I, I bared through it. I just drove really slowly, but it was treacherous. Yeah, yeah. there were some wind gusts of almost like 50 miles an hour out there, yeah. I think I heard. Yeah, not yeah. fun to drive through at no, all. No, 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 and some debris, and uh, luckily everyone was safe, but yes. um, yeah, but w something to look forward to next week with the nice, uh, cool nice and, and sunny quiet. temperatures. Yep. yep. All right. Thank you, Nicole.